Uh, good morning everybody. Today is the 23rd. Uh, I usually do my garden updates on Sunday or Monday, but we're getting ready to go out of town, so I'm going to go ahead and do that today. The herbs, we decided to move inside uh, because we're going to be out of town, so uh, I thought this might be a better solution to keeping them from drying out and uh, making sure they can have water and all this kind of stuff. If that's a bad idea, let me know that. Uh, also, our oregano, I went back and I trimmed this. It was getting a bunch of flowers and stuff on it, and um, it was looking kind of raggedy. I don't know what the deal is with my oregano. So if you're an oregano person, let me know. It doesn't look very good. Uh, but the rest of my herbs are doing great. This, this one, um, the basil actually fell off the porch last night, all the way down to the ground. Uh, actually fell down on the steps during a storm, but it's okay. It did not, uh, didn't seem to have gotten any damage, so tough little plant. Okay, another thing I decided to do was take one of these cuttings suckers, I guess is what they call it, off my uh, tomatoes and I put them in these water after watching a couple of you folks on YouTube. Thank you for the information. And this one is starting to sprout some, um, some little roots there. Here's our big planter out here now this seems you know this one has been like I said we had a little storm last night and so uh, it has bent this big wildflower over uh, now it's straightened back up this has happened a couple of times and it still hasn't flowered uh, this one has flowered it has real pretty little purple flowers and of course our begonias and everything are doing fine out here um, but still waiting on this one to uh, to flower and here's my little tree I'm going to plant in Florida. It's doing very well. Jalapenos plugging right along. I moved them a little more out of the sun over here. Um, and that's helped out. And I added some, uh, I added some mulch to them and to my tomatoes. I topped off the tomatoes and that has really helped them you can see my Rutgers got tomatoes on it the San Marzano's have had tomatoes on them and uh, there's some nice little group and they're starting to get them up here so uh, I think topping these off has helped a little bit also I trimmed these lower you know lower vines and stuff down here Strawberries still plugging along. They got a few little, a few little strawberries on them. They're doing well. This one had. Oh, here's my first weed in the strawberries. This one had has a little strawberry on it. There's a little strawberry there. And a new arrival, the gladiolas that I planted last year. Actually, I might have planted them two years ago, but they're blooming. Look how beautiful those are. I love those are pretty flowers. Pretty flowers. Okay, the garden is looking good. My okra is really coming along. Uh, there's a lot less damage on the leaves and stuff. I've been putting some sevens on them. Uh, I'm not going to do that going into this week because I'm going to be gone and I think we're supposed to get some rain the next few days. We had rain last night. Uh, this little okra plant here fell over. I am guessing it's going to stand back up. I hope. I hate to lose any of my okra. Uh, bell peppers doing really well. That one is really bearing. Really has a lot of bell peppers on it. Uh, this one for some weird reason it doesn't have a pepper on it that I see. It's the only one. Stands up nice and straight, but no peppers. Squash doing really well. Now I thought this was a zucchini down here, but <laughs> obviously not a zucchini. There's a squash, and that's fine. I think we actually grew that one from seed. These have been bearing. You can see they got a lot of flowers and stuff on them. I've got about four or five squash off of them this way. There's a little, a couple little ones right there coming along. And my cantaloupe, 
I have not seen a cantaloupe yet. I looked for one this morning, but there's plenty of flowers, plenty of growth. I put this uh, this thing right here for it to climb in case it feels like it needs to get over there in my okra too much. And I don't see any actual okra. Now, I told y'all I was going to get me a net on my blackberries, and I did, and that has worked out great. I've been able to come out here every day, and these blackberries are just enormous. These are such big blackberries, really pretty. This has worked out great. And of course, once it quits bearing, I will, uh, I have to go in and kind of trim all these runners and stuff. They get all over the yard. But I'll take care of that after they get through coming out. But these blackberries just look absolutely wonderful. Tammy's already made some blackberry preserves with some wild ones that we picked mixed with these. But these are doing great. Now, I have not shown you guys this before. This is red hot poker. Um, got this from a lady. Lives about three or four miles from here. Um, it's a very interesting plant. Now these things right here are supposed to get, like back when it was a younger plant, it would get red and orange and yellow. Like on these things. But they are really showy and really pretty when they turn those colors like that. But they don't always turn those colors. It depends on the rain and all this kind of stuff. But you can see, you know, you can see how that one was yellow. But they get that color. They're really pretty. It's a really unusual plant. Red hot poker. And of course the beautiful Rose of Sharon. This one is especially pretty. It's kind of pink looking with the dark pink in the middle. You always have a lot of bees. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you'll just have bees and stuff just swarming on this thing all summer and it'll just bloom over and over again it's a very very beautiful plant I've got it in my front yard over here next to my red hot poker I haven't shown you guys that before but now that it's blooming there it is and I'll give you guys just kind of a running view of my front bed that I've been working on you can see this is stuff's really starting to spread Mums about to bloom. They started last, you know, about four or five days ago. I think I showed you guys that. The only thing that's not really kind of taken off is this lantana that I bought right here, and it looked really distressed um, when I bought it. So it will probably take a little while, but I have confidence that it will live. Now for my favorite plant in the yard. Now, remember I told you guys the other day in that video, my daughters cannot drive? They, they have hit this bush. And I, look how far it is off the thing. They have hit that bush so many times. I mean, I don't know whether to just cut it down or what. I guess it will, I mean, it will recover. But, God, it's so ugly. And they've run over my amaryllis here. Just over and over. You, you can see, I'll show them to you on the other side. But anyway, this right here, this crepe myrtle, that's kind of the pink color. You don't see these pink color, or I guess this is really, uh, instead of pink, I should say lavender. Uh, these lavender blooms on this are really a lot different than what you normally see on a crepe myrtle. I don't hardly see these anywhere, and they're really, really pretty. This is my favorite plant out here. Now look at my amaryllis over here. The difference between what they look like over there because they haven't been run over by a car 75 times so uh but anyway there's our garden tour make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed i do this once a week come out here and just show you how beautiful all these plants are and i'll show you i've shown most of the plants in my yard but anyway uh we'll just try to feature the ones that are blooming and stuff like that so once a week like and subscribe share it with your friends they can watch it too and you guys have a good week on Nichols retirement empire I'm getting ready to go out of town so it'll be a little bit longer before my next garden update